All right, folks. So I haven't uploaded a video in a couple of weeks since I sold the BMW F800 ST, and that's because I was in the process of getting this bike. So this is a brand new 2017 R1200 RS. So straight from BMW, brand new. Bought it in Belfast, Northern Ireland. So I just thought I would bring it out. I'm just going to literally video this on my phone and put it straight up to YouTube. No added in this video or anything so you're going to see it for what it is so this is a r1200 rs so this one has a style pack on it uh, the style pack gets you this white and black paint scheme it also gets you this red subframe which i really like and um, actually suits them on my lathers and textiles as well uh, it's a 1200cc engine it's a boxer engine which is the first time i've rode a boxer really really like it it has a lot of low down torque um, and good performance good speed Another thing that I really like is the shaft drive. So I hate footering about with uh, chains. So my last bike had the belt drive. This one now has a shaft. Should be no maintenance whatsoever on this bike. It's got front and rear Brembo brakes. Uh, I like the gold, the gold uh, coating on the, on the brake dust themselves. I think it looks really smart. It's a lovely looking machine. Um, just straight off the bat, I, I really really like it. Um, whether or not you actually like a boxer engine or not this is a this is a big bike it's a bulky bike in appearance but actually when you sit on it the dimensions are very similar to that of my 800 so it's not that much wider one thing that i was reluctant about was the fact they commuting the bike and i thought these big uh, boxer engine might get in the way when you're commuting when you're trying to filter but actually they don't so they actually sit um in more narrow than your wing mirror and your handlebar so you should never be in any trouble when you're filtering as long as you can fit up front in it you're never going to hit the sides of the engine so this is it from the front okay r1200rs nice chrome exhaust on it as well which i really like which you're not seeing on many bikes now they're all going for these wee stumpy exhausts which i don't like i love this look on this bike and it's just a quality piece of machinery i'm so impressed with it it's unbelievable um so features I guess, it's only at this stage got about four or 500 miles so I literally picked it up last week and um, have been on a couple of sort of short blasts on it and I've commuted two days this week just to get a sort of feel for the bike and then I need to leave it in the charge first at 600 miles for an initial check just to make sure everything's good um, and they're going to lend me a different bike during that so I might actually throw on the Cena Prism tube and take a video of maybe the naked version of this or might even opt to go for the S1000 or the naked version of the sports bike um, and do a quick demo on it as well because it's nice to try the different bikes uh, so let's talk about features then so up front if your standard lights it is a slight squint um, so it's not it's not 100% symmetrical so it's sticking to the BMW of the squinted headlights you've got this led running light which is great and it's automatic so when you go into sort of darker it'll automatically flick on your side lights but when you're in a lighter environment this led running light is on which looks mean you've got this screen so the wind protection is good it's certainly a lot better than the f800 it's manually adjustable so it's not electronic but you've got two positions as standard so you've got low which i actually think is great for wind protection and then you've got a slightly higher one which personally i don't need so you can also i believe take out these two bolts and you replace them and to other places on your frame and then you can have rather than this sort of low to high you can then have a medium to even higher if, if you want to go even higher but i think it looks good and for me it's perfectly fine in the lower position in fact i actually think there's less wind buffering in the lower position so i'll i'll test that a wee bit more in the next coming days and weeks but for now i'm happy i believe there's a 20 liter tank in it again for me this was important because i'm doing a 60 to 65 mile round trip to and from belfast every day and to be honest with you i don't want to stop for petrol two three times a week because it totally ruins the whole idea of taking the bike to work and um, to save a bit of time so with a 20 litre it probably means i can stop on a wednesday uh, sort of midway through the week and just one stop should do me the entire week um what else 
no complaints about the tires nothing really to speak about by the tires it's a great looking bike love the dash on it um love all the controls and the way they're integrated in the bmw that was something i said about the f800 you go to the likes of triumph and stuff and sometimes the heated grips are like an, an add-on that don't look right on the bike um and other manufacturers don't feel as well built as the bmw i actually think this is a brilliant bike it is expensive you're talking twelve thousand pound really for this bike but sort of 11 12 or 13 depending on which version you go for so the base version um which is not what i went for i think you lose out on the electronic radar modes which for me is a massive thing and you also lose out in the heated grips the style pack was an added extra i believe in any of the three sort of specs you can go for but on the sport i think it's part of the price potentially so this is actually the style pack getting a red subframe in this white with black which i really liked and wanted to go for um so i have for the sport model so the sport as i say you get the different rider modes and you get the heated grips i think you get the style pack built in might get a few other bits and bobs i'm not 100 percent sure but they were certainly the main ones you have adjustable uh rear preload at the back and um, but it's manually adjustable now the next spec up the two things that were were really uh, being offered above and beyond what i have is an electronic suspension which i'm sure some people would love but for me i don't take a pillion a lot of times once it's set up it, it should be good to go so i didn't bother with that and the other thing was cruise control you don't get cruise control as an option for this particular version um also think you get like a gps mount on a gps maybe with the hasback version but bmw and belfast were doing a deal anyway so i actually have that sat nav and they're gonna order me in a mount now so i, I basically got that anyway um so this is it let me just fire it up so it's a nice engine note of it Yeah, nice engine though. Really like it. Great sound machine, great performance machine. I think I said this earlier, 125 horsepower on 125 foot pounds of torque. So it is a bit of a weapon on the road. Feels great. All the weight is really down low in it. So stability is not really an issue whatsoever. Um, you can actually filter it about 5 to 10 inches in our weight, ever dropping your feet. It is so stable. It corners ridiculously. It is fantastic. Um, up front, as I say, you've got rider mode. So you'll see down here at the bottom, you've got road, you've got dynamic, you've got user, and you've got a rain mode. I've really only tried two of those at this point. Your heated grips, levels 1, levels 2 are off. This is basically your LED running light. You can see here that it says automatic on it. If I keep that in automatic, it'll switch from the side light to the LED run light, depending on the light of the room we're in. So we're in a bit of a dark garage here. It's got the uh, side lights on and the LED run lights off, but this looks fantastic when you see it up and going. You've got all your usual odometers, trips, and everything on this side. So you've got different info, we'll just MPG, miles per hour date oil level style allows you to change this part of the display so there's three different styles let me just go to style one which is more just your rpms or your fuel gauge up the side less information really on it this one is pure in the sense that you just really see this big miles per hour and it gets rid of the rest of the information for you as default and then basically this is the standard one that's giving you all the information it's not a uh, revometer up the left hand side, it's actually your speedometer, which people have criticised, as I said, they don't like or they like, but I quite like it. It's got a <coughs> loud horn, I've noticed, obviously, your indicators. Now, you can turn off ABS if you want, using this button. I think it defaults back on. Get your full beams, you push out, so you can flick or push out. Obviously, your... Your double blinker should anything go wrong on the road your engine stop yeah i mean this is it let me just open the, the garage door and let's see if the led run light comes on oh rotten day i'd say 
No, it's not bright enough for it. But the LED running lights are very cool. So, as I say, I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to throw it right up. Any questions, post below. And I'll keep you updated. I'll put, uh, get the Cena Prism tube on the next air show. Um, when I'm doing my commute, you, know, you see I've got a choice of helmets. This is actually the one I'm using at the minute for the Cena Prism tube. So I will uh, I'll upload a video when I'm when I'm actually on it, and I'll probably upload a video when I leave it in for its 600 mile checkup on the bike that they lend me. Um, so chargers and Belfast are fantastic like that. So they're going to lend me a bike at every service. And you can also call up on Saturday and leave your bike in and take one of their bikes for a bit of a test ride for a couple of hours. So they seem very open-minded. Um, good to do business with. It was a good deal. You know, I didn't get too much of the price, but they done the style pack for me. I think the sat nav is worth six hundred and fifty pound, and the style pack is three hundred fifty thousand pound. They're ready, and they give me the most price for trading of the F eight hundred ST as well. So all in all, good good deal. I think so. We'll keep you updated. See you later.